Since 2024, where is everybody trick or treating this year? Well, uh, you know, one of the things about Chatham County is we have bigger lots, and if you go in a neighborhood that has bigger lots, you are not getting as much bang for your buck. You're not getting as much candy per step that your child's taking. So, you know, I remember when we lived in Chapel Ridge, I used to take the kids trick-or-treating in Chapel Ridge. And <clears throat> the nice thing about Chapel Ridge was they're giving out like $5 candy bars and movie tickets there, which is really good for trick-or-treating, but they're half acre, three quarter acre lot. So we were like, we were driving the kids around in a trailer filled with, with hay and doing all 25 kids at the same time just because <clears throat> it was too far for them to walk. But you want a more concentrated area. I know Chatham Forest and Powell Place are two hot areas for trick-or-treaters. Briar Chapel has a good crowd for trick-or-treating. Um, you know, anytime you get into the bigger, like Bobcat Point, great neighborhood, and but those are three to 12 acre lots. So you're covering a lot of territory if you're walking between three acre lots, but they're really, they do the same thing. They'll do a hay ride out there at Bobcat Point. Um, <clears throat> because we're such a rural area, you should look into the, the church situation, whatever. They'll do a trunk or treat, which is kind of fun. You know, people pop open their trunks. They have a bunch of candy and people go from car to car, which so the kids get the, the trick or treating experience. I think they do that um, at the Silcoke Fire Department right next to the Silcoke School as well. So just keep your eyes out for stuff like that, but um, you got to find a target-rich environment if you're going to be, um, if you're going to focus on how many steps you're taking.